this is my audience. Hello, my name is Allison Gartner, and this is my informative speech for Fundamentals of Public Speaking at Bismarck State College. Nicotine is the hardest addiction to break, and I am here today to inform you about why it is so addictive, how you can get help, and other statistics on substances. Nicotine only takes seven seconds to hit the brain when inhaled. The pleasure feeling that we receive when inhaling is similar to cocaine and heroin, which causes the addiction associated with the need to sustain high dopamine levels, thus the reason why so many people are addictive. An individual cigarette contains about 10 milligrams of nicotine. Tobacco can be smoked in pipes, cigars, cigarettes, and also comes in forms of chew. Nicotine is a drug that speeds up the brain and central nervous system. When you smoke it, it releases a chemical in the brain, which is dopamine, that boosts your mood, makes you feel calm, and at the same time can make you feel more awake. Many teens become addicted to smoking tobacco. In fact, more than 3.5 million teenagers between the ages 12 and 17 use tobacco. Smoking can lead to many serious health problems, including death. Quitting smoking helps reduce diseases that are caused by tobacco. There are many benefits from quitting smoking, including a lowered risk for lung cancer, coronary heart disease, and it can help you prevent from having a stroke. Quitting smoking is very beneficial to your body and more than 42.7% of all adult smokers have quit. Today, there are more has-been smokers than current users. Some helpful ways to help you quit smoking are clinical interventions, behavioral therapies, programs, and one-to-one -one person treatments. Quitting smoking can be easier than you think if you have the determination and the right program for you. Even though tobacco is the hardest addiction to break, another substance that many people are addicted to is alcohol. Alcohol, like nicotine, is a legal substance. People over the age of 21 years old can purchase and use alcohol. Alcohol is a depressant, and a depressant reduces the function of the nervous activity. Alcohol goes directly to the bloodstream, which is why it affects every system in the body. The reason why many people get addicted to alcohol is because they believe that it will get rid of their depression or their problems they seem to be facing in life. But alcohol does not relieve depression, it only makes it worse. In fact, one third of suicides are associated with alcohol misuse. Chronic alcohol use can damage the frontal lobes of the brain and can actually reduce the size of the overall brain. Some facts about alcohol is that binge drinking is more common in men than in women. About 20% of adults had five or more drinks per day at least once in the past year. There are many ways to get help with alcohol abuse and helping a family member can be easier than you think. Setting up an intervention and planning the future for the abuser is the first step in a sober life. There are many facilities that can help you just need to find the best one that suits you. Drugs have been a big part of our society all the way back to the 60s, where everything was first introduced. Many people focus their life on getting high from drugs like marijuana, cocaine, meth, and ecstasy, or acid. What most people don't know is that when they start drugs like these, it is very hard to quit. It consumes you and soon becomes your whole life. Some short-term effects of using these drugs is that the person may feel a surge of intense pleasure, feel a warm flushing of the skin, and they may also experience a drowsy state and cloudy mental functioning. Long-term effects of drugs is, after long and repeated use, the person may develop collapsed veins from the injections and nasal soreness from snoring. The person may also develop heart valve infections or liver disease. If a person overdoses, it may cause the heart to stop, causing death. Drug addiction is hard to break. If you know someone who needs help, cut them off completely and get them help immediately. Medication and behavior therapy are the best ways to treat substance abuse. 
Some final statistics and facts about substances is the use of marijuana has increased more since 2007. In 2012, there were 18.9 million users. More than half of the users started with marijuana before they advanced to more dangerous drugs like cocaine, heroin, or meth. Underage drinking has decreased and driving under the influence has also declined in the past years. Fewer Americans are smoking and teen smoking is also declining. Many people are addicted to legal and illegal substances, but with the right help and with the right treatment centers, many people can overcome these addictions and live healthy and happy lives.